What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Miller, and this is Jared Petty. I was going to say, the, I was going to give you a title and everything. Well, you just come, I, let's do it I was again. Say, no, no, it's over. Oh, it's over. I was going to give you the Wiki Wonder Kid again. I give you oh, that. I love the Wiki Wonder Kid. It's too late. Now let's it's too late. Now what, you're just Jared Petty. Now? now I just point at you. That's is how. It, happening? It, ladies and gentlemen, over on IGN.com, each of our editors is making a favorite games of all time list. Jared's just went up. You can go read it, IGN.com. But. We're gonna do this video about his number one pick, which is Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. Uh, no, that is oh, not sorry. what this is. Sorry. What uh, is this? I'm sorry. This is Sid Meier's Pirates by Microprose, an old game from 1987. Okay, Jared, why do you love Sid Meier's Pirates? Sid Meier's Pirates is not the first sandbox game, but it's probably the first one to do it right, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if anybody's ever gotten as well ever since. Okay. It has almost infinite replayability, hundreds and hundreds of hours, and they give you so many options without making those options overly complicated that you can construct a different world the map changes with every historical era you choose. It changes that the alliances change by what nationality you begin with. There are dozens of possible combinations for beginning a new game. And when you step in, you have no objective goals whatsoever. You decide your story, you pick out what you're gonna do. You can play completely peaceful and run from everyone you see. You can be a bloodthirsty pirate, you can betray, you can conquer territory, you can go look for your lost family. It's a wonderful game. And so right now people are seeing crazy crap on screen in the B-roll. Yeah. Wh what is the gameplay here? Okay, well th that's the best part of this. This sounds like a role-playing game, but it's not. It's pretty much an action game. Mm -hmm. You're sailing ships in combat, controlling with, uh, with joystick style or, or, or that kind of thing. Joystick style. Wow, there is, she showed my age. Uh, 2014. That's right. Um, no, you, you, it's an action game. You're controlling fencing, fighting, uh, uh, land assaults on forts, all kinds of things. You're exploring okay. the high seas, encountering other ships. So it has like random encounters like an RPG, but you play them out in an action format. But the stats of your ship affect how fast it is or how quick it turns or how much damage the guns do and how good you are at fencing. It's, it's really neat. You also you run around, get married, you smooth people, uh, do politics, whatever you want to do. It's, it's Okay, so it's literally a sandbox. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, it really is. This is hard to nail it down. I'm sure, but then to you, what's the definitive moment in it that makes it your favorite game? I say favorite game, you say Sid Meier's Pirates, what do you think of? Uh, I, I think the thing that makes it wonderful for me most of all is that feeling that the time that I played the perfect game. Uh, when I say the perfect game, I accomplished so much on the hardest level of difficulty. The game does score you at the end when you choose to retire. You, yeah. don't, you aren't forced to retire unless your body breaks down. Sure. So yeah, I get to the end of the game and I score the absolute highest perfect score a per human being possibly can. I end up a king's advisor over in the royal court of, of uh, 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 oh, Elizabeth, I believe. Yes, Elizabeth in England. Thank you. Uh, and uh, it was just kind of, it was wonderful. It was rewarding to sit and go, wow, according to the game, I can't be any better at this than I am now. But I, as soon as I finished, I started a new game and, and played again. Right. Because it, it doesn't, I've easily played a thousand hours of Good cards. Lord. By the way, public service announcement for the viewers. Sure. It's very important. I'm talking about the 87 Pirates, not the 2K remake, which is okay. Not Pirates Gold, which is actually pretty good. You can, you can grab. And certainly not the remakes that were done for the Wii and iOS. Avoid them like the plague. They changed fundamental gameplay elements. They're actually both pretty terrible. I hate to speak badly of the Wii, which I love. iOS games, some are good, some are bad, but those versions are awful. Instead, if you want to play the real thing, run out to goodoldgames.com where you can buy it right now, this and Pirate's Gold together in one pack for six bucks. Uh, it'll run fine on a modern PC. They've got a nice emulation yeah. wrapper. Uh, or if you can get your hands on the definitive version of this game, run out and grab the NES version, which was uh, ported by Rare, of all people, oh, wow, okay. for Konami. Um, yeah, and it is by far the best version of Pirates you can get. Jared, yes. I love that you love this game so much, and that was also the most informative anyone's been in their their number one favorite game video. Well, this is a, this this is one of the most ubiquitous video games ever, Greg. It's been ported to every platform under the sun. If there's a computer or a video game system, there's a version of this for the Genesis. There were versions of this for Atari computers, for the black and white Macintosh. There is a version of Pirates for the BlackBerry. Wow. Which I kid you not is better than the Wii and <laughs> iOS versions. Absolutely better. Well, ladies I and gentlemen, it. what do you think of Sid Meier's Pirates? Let us know in the comments. Then make sure you pop over to IGN.com to see Jared's full list of his favorite games. Then make sure you stay on whatever screen you're viewing right now for the next number one video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.